Today, the Minister of Interior, Honorable Olubomi Tunjojo, launched the online portal for passport application. The online passport application platform is being established for both international and Nigerian applications. The minister had announced in December that the federal government was working to ensure a full automation system of passport application in the country. He said so on this program some weeks ago. Now, the Honorable Minister of Interior, Honorable Tunjojo, is my guest on the program. Thank you so much, Honorable Minister, for joining us on the program tonight. Thank you very much, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean, uh, there are a lot of stories also about you. Not only that you have launched a platform, there are allegations about okay. your involvement, your company linked to you, and the allegation that you are involved, that your company is taking contract from the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs. Well, Sharon, sure, thank you very much. Um, um, good evening, Nigerians. I want to say this, as I've always said, I came into public office um, with, a, with a commitment to, to base my service based on sincerity of purpose and openness, obviously, because I believe that Nigerians deserve to know um, and um, they deserve to be kept uh, they don't deserve to be kept in the dark in terms of um, public office operations. I have to say this very clearly. I saw it and um, actually I was shocked because um, the company in question was a company um, where I was a director um, and about five years ago I had resigned my directorship over five years ago. You own the company? Yes, I founded the company 15 years ago. Because the, the document online shows definitely that I yeah, yourself founded the, and your wife, I, isn't it? I founded the company okay. 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But in 2019, when I got to the House of Representatives, when I won election, precisely, I did a change of... Um, this is it. You can have a look at it. Mm -hmm. This is... You can see there. This that is, is a CSC document. Certified true copy dated 2019. Almost five years ago, I had resigned as director of the company. Season to hold office. This yes. So, I'm not a director. I'm, August, um, August 2019. 19, but the, I resigned 1st of February. You can go to the back. Okay. The last page. That was the board resolution. Certified true copy by CSC as far back as 2019. So this is it's, what it looks like. Yeah, that is the certified to copy. Please show the um, you can show the CAC document of um, this. You can show the CAC document. That's the, to sh my what's it called? That certified to copy from CAC dated twenty nineteen. So I had eight eight twenty nineteen. Yes. that's what is dated. So I'd, I'd left. I, I resigned my, my directorship first of February to the board, and um, CAC certified it. That certified true copy. From CSE dated 2019. How come? So I'm not been, even. How come it has not been reflected? This document has not been reflected on the CSE document on on CSE website. Well, I'm not responsible for the uploading or updating of CSE website. You know, people so are also I have go not, to CSE to, not, to update I've, some I've of these documents. I've not document. been to CSE website, and I'm not. It's not my responsibility to update the website. But what is important, and I can say, is that this is a certified true copy that you can see there, that's the 2019. I came into public office knowing fully well that Nigerians were asked questions. So you, you're, you were not involved in that over 400 million naira worth of contract? Well, the, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I do not run the company. I don't have, you don't I, have knowledge of that? I'm, of not, that I'm not a signatory to any account. I'm not a director of the company. I'm not, uh, I'm not involved in day-to-day -day running of the organization. And the company is a limited liability company, which is, I mean, a, I mean, a private entity that... So, for me, I'm not a director. I'm, the the I'm impression sorry. is that oh. you use your office to get a contract from how, the humanitarian. How, how could I have done that? I'm Minister of Interior. I'm not Minister of Humanitarian. But you, you, I mean, if, you, if I had... Your you, colleague, you, that you use your office to get a contract into a company that you have interest in as a shareholder. On what basis will I do that? Is a company, is the company not entitled to bid for anything? I am not. I did it. I'm not Minister of Humanitarian. I'm Minister of Interior. This company can never work under Interior because that would be conflict of interest. That would be abuse of office. I never did that. So, and the company is a private entity. And you see a shareholder in the company? Of course. And to the best of my knowledge, public service rule does not prohibit public officers from being shareholders. What public service rule says is that you cannot be a director 
of which I had resigned about five years ago. And secondly, the question is even this. Let's get to the bottom. I don't want to go deeply because I don't want to defend the company. The company has a management. Has, uh, they have directors. They have a management that can defend them. The company can defend itself, not me. I'm a different entity from the company. But the simple truth is, I think the question should be, okay, if the company, if they were given a job, did the company do the job, yes or no? Was the, was, was the job... Um, validly uh, awarded, yes or no. If there are infractions, then the company can... The consultancy uh, job, contract, that's what it's all about. Well, as I told you, I'm not in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the organization. But what I'm saying is this. I was in private business. I've been in private business for close to 20 years. I resigned about five years ago, as you can see from CAC documents. This is 2019 as a director. That's what the law says. And of course, I'm not a director. Let us first of all establish that fact. And that is dated. This is certified to copy. Anybody can go to CAC on freedom of information and ask, and ask. I'm not a director. But what I'm even saying is this. I don't want to double into the arena of investigation. I don't want to double into the arena of defending the company. I don't run the company. But this is so, about you because it is because of your name linked to the company that this is brought up. So you are saying that the presidency or anyone has a right to look into this, isn't it? Are you? Yeah, you're willing, no, you're, you're of course, willing why to, not? I'm not. A you're willing to surrender yourself saying, to any kind I'm of saying this, I this. have no business with it. Let's get that straight. Absolutely no business because one, I am not involved in the day to day running of the company. I do not pursue jobs for the company. I do not bid for the company. I do not run the company. I'm not a signatory to the company's account. I am not involved. So the company is an entity on its own. And if the company has a right to, for, to opportunities, the company has a right to perform, the question should be. Was the job given to the company? If the answer is a yes, then the question is, did they follow due process in award? If it's a yes, did the company deliver on the job? If it's a yes. Then number three is that, did they deliver in line with the agreement of contract? If it is a yes, then fine. If it's not, then there are sanctions by the books. All right. well, so, shall I just think, to be sincere with you, for me, I know there'll be a lot of pushbacks. And I'm saying this very clearly. I, this is not my first public office. I was a member of the House of Reps. And as a member of the House of Reps, before I had resigned as a director. All right. Honorable Minister, thank you so much for clarifying this. And I hope that this, uh, this is suffices, uh, except if there are other facts that comes up on this. There's this uh, uh, one last one that I'd like you to... I just have 60 seconds before you go, Honorable Minister. As the owner of the company in which you, you talked about, would you be willing to return that the company returns the consult, consultancy fees which it got in, to, in this uh, contract with the humanitarian uh, 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 ministry if only to fulfill all righteousness? Chill. Do not drag me into a business that is not mine. I am not the director. I am not in charge of day-to-day -day operation of the company. As I have said, did, did, or did the company go through the due process? If the answer is a yes, fantastic. If they didn't do it, then government is, I mean, government takes uh, charge of it. I'm not involved. I've not been involved in the affairs of the company in the last five years. Is it on May, on January 1, when I was busy in immigration headquarters and I was working, you were there with me. Mm. You know what I mean? On Saturday, we were busy working. Even on Sunday, we were working, trying to bring up a sweet experience. So for me, this issue is just a diversion. As far as I'm concerned, it's a non-issue for me. I am not a director in the company. Right. And let, if the company is found wanting, then definitely the law will take its cup. But as far as I'm concerned, mm. I am a different entity from the company, and as of today, I am not an officer of the company, but I am an officer and minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, courtesy of the magnanimity minister. of Mr. President Bola Tinobu. Olubo Metunjo, your minister of interior, thank you so much indeed. Thank you so much, It's a pleasure.